Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. As the war in Ukraine reached Moscow, a drone crashed near the Russian capital, raising an alarm. Russia is blaming Ukraine for this. We'll bring you up to speed with what happened as we also focus on another threat that Russia faces. China, its new best friend, wants to take over Russian land, it seems. It has released new maps showing Russian cities with Chinese names. Meanwhile, India is paying China back in its coin. India has announced a major hydropower project in Arunachal Pradesh. This is part of New Delhi's infra push in border areas to counter an aggressive China. Also on the show, is Iran ready to build a nuclear bomb? We'll tell you about a new claim and why you don't have to be very smart to make a lot of money. Apparently, success depends on intelligence, but not very much. We'll bring you the findings of a new study, the headlines first. Indian capital New Delhi becomes the hub of global diplomacy. Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar hosts U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and Chinese Foreign Minister Chin Gang at the G20 Foreign Ministers' meeting. Did Ukraine launch a drone attack on Moscow? Russia says one drone crashed near Moscow, two were shot down in southern Russia. Putin orders tightening of the Ukraine border amid this assault. More than 30 people killed and nearly 100 injured in Greece after two trains collide near the city of Larissa. A passenger train crashed into a freight train. Mexico slams America for meddling in its internal affairs. The president is overhauling the electoral body. Protests followed and America is supporting the protesters. Sri Lankans defy the government ban on strikes. They're protesting against tax hikes and spending cuts. The strike has forced hospitals, banks and ports to be closed. Japan's Prime Minister sparks a row. Fumio Kishida says banning same-sex marriage is not discrimination. Earlier, he apologized to the LGBTQ community over discriminatory remarks made by his former aide. 